Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening depending on where you are watching me from i just want to share something that uh, if you if you go to my my the comments on my page you will really see that uh, people are insulting me you know they are saying you deceived the people of zambia you 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 cheated them to vote for HH and see now HH is destroying the country. See now the price of petrol is high. You know, see now this, see now that. Yesterday the price of petrol was increased. And you know, in in on my WhatsApp I cannot even rest. People are insulting me. People are fighting. You know, there is. It's like there is war everywhere. This is why I want to talk to you right now. If you if you have followed me or you have been following C1, you can see that for some time I never talked about politics of Zambia. We have already achieved what we wanted in Zambia. Our next focus now is Nigeria. And that is why I'm here in Nigeria to fight from home. Many, many months ago when I was fighting there in, in, uh, in Zambia, people came and said, ah, see, Awan, you, you cannot go to your, you, were, you cannot go to Nigeria. You are wanted in Nigeria. You will be killed in Nigeria. What, what? You cannot talk about Nigeria. What, 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 what? I am here in Nigeria. I'm fighting openly not uh, not not uh, by hiding or by fighting from another country i'm fighting so i have left zambia i no longer talk about zambia i've concentrated because we have achieved our aim there it's not only zambia in guyana we achieved our aim in so many other countries zambia is the one that i came publicly to support the opposition leader president aka in the the race now we have come to fight in nigeria my responsibility as a man of god is to fight for the people so the reason why i came is because of the messages that is coming in you know when you yesterday when i finished what i was doing i came back home i opened facebook everywhere was which it is a failure it is this is killing the poor it is this it is that HH has increased petrol. HH has done this. People, even from UPND me members, they are sending me messages and telling me, you see, you see what you told us to vote for. You see what you made the youth to vote for. There is, you know, there, if I, I go to PF pages, like, uh, like, uh, 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 like, uh, 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 smart ego they are celebrating you know they are posting at the galungo mocking the people laughing at the people and what are you celebrating for where is the failure here look why has the fuel price been increased those of you that voted for a change those of you that love good things before you turn around and regret voting for HH, ask yourself one question. Is HH corrupt? If HH is not corrupt, then what are you regretting for? Do you know the reason why fuel price has gone up in Zambia? Do you know the reason why things are expensive in Zambia today? You do not know that. You just want to you you look at zero at 4 a.m. in the morning. You left your children, 
young people, you left what you are doing, you left your comfortable bed to go and make a decision to vote away corruption. And now you want to regret. What do you want to regret for? Can't you ask yourself, why are prices of commodities going up? This is, the, this is how simple it is. The reason why I decided to talk is because it's like PF is celebrating, like they are happy. They want to remind the people of Zambia. They want to remind the people of what they went through, of what they did to the people. The reason why things are expensive is because, number one, the money that PF borrowed was a lot. PF borrowed billions upon billions upon billions of dollars. And they did not invest it. They shared the money among themselves. Now, when look, so long as Africa is concerned, we cannot do without investment from outside the country. There is no country in Africa that can survive without an external investment. And for you to draw in this investment, investors must know what you have done with the money that you borrowed. Nobody will come to Zambia and bring one billion dollars and, and, and start uh, employing teachers, employing people, and, 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 and doing investment. They must first of all ask, the one that came already, where did it go? HH is suffering, going from one country to one country, trying to bring in investors. And the investors are asking, the billions that was given to you, the euro bond that was given to you, Zambia, what did you do with it? What did you do with the billions? The euro bonds, the, the 23, over 23 billion dollars that you got, what did you do with it? This is the reason why things are very expensive in Zambia today. Because PF people borrowed money and diluted it. That is why you see a university like FTF, uh, uh, FC, what, what, FTJ University. Millions of dollars was brought in to use for that university. Those millions were swallowed. Okay, we talk about the dollar dual carriageway. How many millions of dollars was brought in and released? Swallowed. All the billions that came into the country swallowed. Now, HH has come into power and HH has found this thing. What do you want him to do? You want him to continue borrowing so that he can subsidize the fuel and your children will come and suffer in the next 50 years. Or you are going to have patience for this man that is not corrupt to sort things out so that you can enjoy and your children will enjoy in future. Hatred is the best thing that has happened to any country. In the world money is not there money is not circulating because the money that was there was looted by the pf you may not like it you may not if you if really you are hating hh and bl and blaming hh for what is going on it means you hate him naturally not because he has done anything wrong billions upon billions were brought into the country to be used and pf looted it as we are talking today as we are talking today those guys are filthy rich and they don't want to bring out the money they have hidden the money and people are crying and they come behind and pretend like ah they are they, they come behind and pretend like they are holy and edgar lung is laughing what are you laughing are you not the one that stole you are the criminal that stole the money Giving Lubinda is talking. He's the one that looted the money. The money to pay uh, uh, to pay the for uh, to pay the retirees. 
the money for the teachers, all been looted by the PF government. And the PF government want to come behind and say, what, where do you want the to get money to, 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 to pay for a subsidy? You, as, as the, I'm talking to one, 2.8 million. Those people that understand integrity, for HH, it's not about uh, partying, it's not about holiday, it's not about this. For HH, it's all about work. It's all about putting the country back to where it was. There is no money to buy medicine because the money that was there was looted. Ask yourself a question. All this money, the euro bond, Everyone celebrated the euro bond when it came to Zambia. Where is it? It's just that you 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 want to hate hate it, you know, because maybe it's not from your tribe. Uh -huh. Maybe it's not from your tribe, and you didn't expect him to win. If not, what do you want to hate him for? Is 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 has he stolen? How much has H stolen since he got into power? Does he even rest? Every blessed day is fighting and crying to make his country great. And the PF people that looted the money, instead of encouraging people to be patient, you are the one putting fire. You put fire for what? Your stupid government, your criminal organization looted the money. Where is the million that was released for the University of Tuluba? This is just a little of billions upon billions of dollars that we are stolen by PF. Cadres are rich. When you see a cadre that cannot write his name driving a Range Rover, you see a PF cadre that cannot write his name driving a Land Cruiser. Where did they get the money from? That is the money that was supposed to be used. Hmm? For free subsidy. There is no money for free subsidy. If you really love your country, you must give HH support. You must give HH support. Where, when you say HH has failed, HH failed, HH failed, where is the failure coming from? What, where is the failure? How much has he stolen? That's the first question you ask yourself. Eddie Galungu got into power before he became a president. He was having 3 million quarters in his bank account. In less than a year, it was 23 million quarters. Where did he get it from? In less than a year, how much does the church have today? How much has he benefited? It's not even taking salary. Do you really love, do you really fear God? Eh? Do you really, do you really love your country? I see PF celebrating everywhere. Hey, 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 fuel has been increased. Are you not the one that stole the money? Eh? People are trying to heal. I have been called several times to say, help us to bring unity back in Zambia. And I stopped talking. I never insulted the Galungu or insulted PF anymore. I concentrated on fighting to Nigeria. But what you are doing now, you are trying to tell the people of Zambia that they are fools. You are like criminal that went to the bank you work for the bank and you are a criminal in the bank you store all the money that people put in the bank tomorrow people come to the bank to collect their money you start laughing at them for what reason you know where the monies are you know where the billions that you brought in the billions that you borrowed from china the billions that you borrowed from, all these billions you know where they are and you know the reason why Prices of commodity are going high. Are going high. PF people, up to now, I thought you would be in your quest or your brand. You would be telling yourself the truth. There is no money because you stole all the money. Before you criticize, before you come and argue with me here, 
before you come and talk this and that, before you come and say this and this, I want you to ask yourself, if, if, if there is no point in what the UPND government is doing, if they are the one responsible for this, I want you to ask yourself, the millions that was released to build the university for Chiluba, where is it? Gone. It's not the big, the millions is not even in the country. The millions that was released to do in dollar dua carriageway, where is it? It's nowhere to be found. This is just a little bit of the millions of dollars that PF government, billions of dollars that PF government stole. You stole all the money, then you want to come and, and shine. You want to come and, the, and the behave like you are, you are holy. You want to come and show the people that HH is failing. You are the criminals. You are the one that failed. Now, let me say something quickly before, before I drop my microphone. Listen to this. For, for young people in Zambia, forget about tribe. Tribalism will never take us anywhere. Forget about political party. Political party will not take us anywhere. I want you to look forward to this. I came across this and I have this information I want to share with you. Look at this. President HH in within in less than a year in the office has secured a hundred million US dollars investment for Zambif by Zambif. 100 million US dollars by Zambif. President HH, in less than a year in office, has secured 1.3 billion US dollars by first quantum minerals. 1.3 billion US dollars by first quantum minerals. President HH, in less than a year in office, has secured 80 million US dollars by Zambian breweries. President HH, in less than a year in office, has secured 2 billion US dollars that is going towards renewable energy this is in less than a year get this information from me i don't i, I don't speak from without anything i tell you that this is what is happening this is what is happening all these billions are coming to zambia very soon this is not about talking this is this is already secured signed 2.8 million people that voted for hh i don't want you to lose hope forget about the criminal organization that has gone that will never 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 come back I was even feeling pity for them to say maybe if they can bring a youth in 2031, maybe we can say okay. But I've seen that their mind is corrupt. A criminal will always be a criminal. They can never change. They can never, never change. All these billions are coming into Zambia in in a space just 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 nine months within a space of nine months this is not the money that is being borrowed no this is investment that is coming in 
into Zambia. The people of Zambia are going to celebrate. The people, the youth of Zambia are going to be employed. Have a little bit of payment, a, a little bit of patience. Just have a little bit of patience. Don't be carried away. No, HH has failed. No, HH has increased. He doesn't have money at hand. All the money that he found, all the money that was supposed to be there, is gone. PF stole all the money. You may not see what HH is doing today, but give it time. You will, you will live to tell your children to say, One day, I made the decision that changed my life. Rising up very early in the morning to go and vote out PF and vote in HH. Believe me, take my word. Before election, I came in and I was telling you everything that was going to happen before the election. I am not telling you what is going If all the things I say came to pass, this one I'm telling you now, it will come to pass. Believe me, billions are coming in. This is in less than a year. And you know that if all this billion comes in now, and these guys are telling their friends, oh, we have found the government that is working. Coming. It's working in Zambia. Investors will flock in like never before. And Zambia is actually going to be one of the richest countries in Africa. It's all about brain. Dubai is not as blessed as, as we are blessed in Africa. Dubai is not blessed like in Nigeria. But today, when our politicians are sick, they go to Dubai. When they want to have fun, they go to Dubai. Why? Because they have a working government. The greatest miracle, the greatest achievement that any country can achieve or the greatest miracle they will receive is receiving a good government. HH is a good president. UPND is a good government. But you need to give them time. I don't want you to give up. I don't want you to... It's too early. I have mentioned to you the investment that this one is signed already. It's secured already coming. Stop listening to fools. You destroyed the country. PF came to power. In less than 10 years or 10 years. They took the country backwards. And someone has come to rebuild the country. And you are putting fire on him. You are laughing at him. You are you are you are you are making jest of him. You are frustrating him. If you are arrested, you start crying. You say he's fighting a, 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 a political battle. I want you to be patient. Fuel price will come down. In Nigeria, a few months ago, we are buying petrol at 120 naira per liter. But today, it's 240. In South Africa, petrol price is increased. Dangote is selling cement in Zambia cheaper than what is selling it in Nigeria. Things are much much better in Nigeria, in in uh, in uh, Zambia, than it is in so many other African countries. God has given you a good leadership. I want you to embrace him. Give him all your support. If all the money, forget about, I've even seen the comment of uh, PF criminals on my on my thing. Just you, we are, we believe in talking with facts. 
we talk with fa- we talk we give you facts uh, you, we, we we no longer insult because we are not campaigning we are going to come back with insult in 2025 2026 you can never insult more than c1 i'm not insulting i don't want this out because we are not campaigning now we are talking about facts The only problem that UPND government has is that majority of the people working in UPND are DAO. Either they are DAO, they are corrupt, or clueless. How come fuel price has been increased and no one is aware? No one knows the reason why it has been increased. The Minister of Information is quiet. That is the most useless ministry as we are talking today in Zambia. How do you allow PF to take over social media when you know that UPND was brought in to government through social media? You allow PF to take over and start giving people wrong information, making it look like PF has failed, uh, UPND has failed. Eh? UPND is the best government in Africa today whether you like it or not because it's a corrupt free government i know that there is small small corruption going on there, there is no way we will, you will not have corruption but it's not as bad as other countries it's not as bad as pf but the only problem that we have is because the information ministry is useless she cannot be able to tell the people the reason why fuel has increased she cannot be able to tell the youths to be patient. Something is on the pipeline coming. Social, uh, the socialite party or what what, the, the party for Fred member, is growing like thunder. Youths are being lured into that party through lies, thinking that HH has failed because there is nobody from UPND that is telling the youth what is on, the, what is on board coming. Everyone is quiet. Everywhere is quiet. I have been to Rwanda more than 20 times. We have gone to Rwanda for investment, going in the bush, in the villages, to look for minerals. When you say you Rwanda, 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 Rwanda is doing well through information. If President Paul Kagame brings this remote into Rwanda, the whole Africa will hear that a remote has come into Rwanda. Because Rwanda has a proper communication system. They can communicate better. There is nothing extraordinary happening in Rwanda. Even HH went there and he was, you know, he was taking, he, he was very happy. Because even before he went there, he had it in his mind that Rwanda is very beautiful. Because they know how to communicate. Their communicating system is perfect. But in Zambia, even with all the effort that HH is putting in, there is no one telling people exactly what is happening. Youths are blank. Even most of the youths that supported me, that used to tell me thank you for speaking for them, are now insulting me on WhatsApp. Because there is no one disseminating information to them, telling them that this amount of money is coming. It's coming for you. This investment is coming. It's coming for you. This one is coming. It's coming for you. Be patient. There is nothing. The information ministry is as useless as you and sports ministry. There is nothing at all. We are only quiet because we love uh, President HH and we don't want to disturb his government. If not, some of this ministry would have been there, there. There is nothing. If you go on the street now, people are crying. Fuel has been hacked. This has been, no one is explaining to them the reason why fuel was hacked. PF is actually becoming darling to people now. Go to Smart Ego and see that 
anytime the, the, the picture of Edgar Lung is posted, people are saying, hail, our savior, hail, you did. They are forgotten how they looted the country and destroyed the country. Gas the people. They are forgotten how billions upon billions was wasted on that PF. Because there is no information coming out from you being the government. UPND government is being run like, like a family, as if it's your kitchen. You are ruling 18 million people, not your, not your family. You must learn to give out information. If that lady is not able to speak, if that lady is not able to disseminate information, let her go and put her in so many other information, or reshuffle the ministry. Let people, people are getting frustrated because of lies. See how member is growing. Every almost every youth now on social media is talking about member. Member for what? Member to do what? It's because you are unable to tell the people, tell the youth that voted for you what is coming for them. Eh? Nothing at all. Nothing is happening. And you are in power. What type of government is in power but unable to give out information to the people? When a thing like this happens, you see that people are complaining. That's why when you saw what Pilato posted yesterday, you thought it was a joke. What removed Pierre from power was them thinking that they know it all. Was them thinking that Everybody's happy with them. When people are quiet, they are dying inside. Opportunity given to them, they will mess you up. Like they did to PF. Don't take the silence of these people like, like they are foolish. No. No. You must talk. You must tell them the reason why. As, as it is now, where there is tension in Zambia, where people are saying fuel has been increased, I expect the Minister of Information to call for a press conference and explain to the people, tell them exactly, exactly, exactly the reason why fuel was increased. But no one is talking. You get salary just to go to Ben Lumban and paint yourself and look like a, a queen. Are people going to eat? Let me tell you this. When you are dressing well as a minister and the poor people are frustrated, they see you as a Jezebel. If you want to go to heaven and get the best makeup artist, they look at you and they are hungry. They see you as dirty. It is not time to go and uh, there is no, this is not, if you want to do beauty contest, go to Choma and do Mrs. Uh, Homeland. You can win. This is government. It's a serious business. You must come out and tell the people what you have on board for them. How can you be sitting on information like this? How many billions have I mentioned now? How can you be sitting on this? And the use, you know, the use, the use. The youth are stranded while this billions is on, is on the way coming. And no one is talking about it. What do you want them to do? They are joining Fred member. If you give Fred member opportunity to rule you, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In the day he will take over. Eh? The day he will take over. Then you, you see that president of... Uh, the president of uh, what is his name? The president of Uganda is nothing. It's not a dictator. Fred member will teach you a lesson. <laughs> he will show you how to rule a country because you are joking. I'm telling you the gospel truth. You are joking. You are joking. This is a serious business. The earlier you realize, the better. Disseminate information to the people. In fact, reshovel the minister of youth and sports is a dead ministry. Because we are talking those days, the youth are stranded. Call the youth. You call the youth for Indaba. After that, Indaba, what has come out of it? Immediately, the Indaba finished. 
you went back to your gym and you're slaying together with congratulations your fellow slayer what have you done for the youth since you became a youth minister eh there are youths that sacrificed for you pnd to be where it is what have you done for them have you even called them on the phone as a youth minister and thank them for the sacrifice they did eh i saw many of you calling uh, matomela Ma matomela or something you are calling him a uh, a uh, 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 what you are calling him a uh, a uh, uh, saboteur because he was begging money from a lady from uk and he was sent to 1000 a man that fought like that that went to sell several times tried to make you get into power through social media you got into power and they cannot even afford food it's begging for 1000 and you you are laughing everything is okay for you right every night you dress you comb your hair every every day you dress eh? you comb your your hair you paint your body you paint your nails climb into a, a vx eh? in aircon go to gym after gyming yeah you take picture you post it on facebook for the people that suffered for the country to clap for you right to clap for you to say hey our minister you have you have six pack you're an idiot hey our 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 peers yeah you are, you are looking handsome for who for what are people going to eat handsome are people going to eat gym these people that uh, honorable matomela and so many of them how about uh, larry Mwetua? in 2016 he was he was nearly killed by the pf how many times was he harassed many many youths lost hope in upnd harry Mwetua was giving hope when we were busy working for Eddie Galungu, harry Mwetua was a threat to us because he was giving information on facebook where is he today is he not a youth has he been remembered is he not the work of the youth minister to look out for these people the president cannot do all this thing alone the president has the responsibility to market zambia eh? 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 how about uh, how many of them am i going to mention how about mubita nawa I know that Mobita now uh, there, there is something on the pipeline for him, but it's one year. Others are receiving salary. When you start paying him salary, now are you going to pay him the the one year that he that he he, he has not been employed? Eh? How many of them am I going to mention? PF cadres, especially those that fought for the government, have become poorer than they were when they came when they were in opposition <laughs> at least when they were in opposition they were at least even eating now they have even become poorer <laughs> and they are in government <laughs> and they are eating alone <laughs> and not just not that you are eating alone eating and failing to do your job how can uh, how can uh, 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 what what do you call her that um, information minister receive salary as information minister drive a vs as information minister live in a house as information minister have a diplomatic passport as an information minister but she doesn't know what to tell the people eh? <laughs> you know you people must change you must change believe me you must change all these things that i've mentioned today all this investment that is coming today is coming from the president there is no single minister in upnd that is able to bring investment to his country it's coming from the presidency hh has to go 
and they cry and give speeches here and there call people to say come no minister has there is nothing <laughs> they are just there eating <laughs> and dressing well <laughs> yeah <laughs> anyway <laughs> it is uh, well it is well but uh, all i want to say is that uh, those of you that voted uh, for, for hh don't listen to pf don't listen to anybody telling you that hh has failed hh has not failed believe me what is on the way coming will shock you people from all over the world will run to zambia Zambia will be better than South Africa by the time my church is coming down in 10 years' time. I'm not saying this as a praise singer. I'm saying this as a fact because I know what is on the way coming. I know what is on the way coming. Don't give up. The petrol price is increased because there is no money to pay for subsidy all the money that's supposed to be channeled to subsidy that pf borrowed we are stolen when me and you please don't don't I, i'm begging you in the if you believe in jesus in the name of jesus if you're a muslim i beg you in the name of allah or anything you believe think about this pf borrows Five million US dollars and say we want to use it to construct a toll gate. For example, uh, Mikey Tulifia uh, Satas toll gate. How much did PF use to build it? How many million dollars? So, for example, PF will tell you to say, okay, this phone here is uh, this phone here the price of this phone in the market maybe is ten dollar pf will come and say this thing is one thousand dollar they receive one thousand dollar for this and they spend ten dollar and share the rest among themselves when you look at when you look at eddie galungu today i want to give you a data go and search anywhere you are and i want you to call or speak to anyone that you know in 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 swaziland they will tell you eddie galungu has shopping malls in swaziland the construction company today that's why i don't even know when hh went to swaziland did they tell him the construction the largest construction company in Switzerland is owned by a zambian he, that man is just there only having shares for eddie galungu eddie galungu is the owner of that construction company eddie galungu takes billions of dollars from zambia and invest it in Swaziland if you love your people Eddie Galungu as a president of Zambia if you love your people with all the billions that you took with your peer people what properties what investment as in your individual capacity do you have in Zambia think about it before HH became a president he had self, he has several companies that employed the people of Zambia. Eddie Galungu came in and took billions of dollars from Zambia and invested it in Tanzania, in 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 in, in, in Swaziland. The biggest construction company today in Swaziland is owned by Eddie Galungu. If you love the people of Zambia, you and PF, why didn't you do that investment in Zambia so that you can employ your people? You stole all the money, invested them, invested them in another person's company, in another person's country, and you come and laugh at a man that want to rebuild your country. Fear God. 
if there is nothing that you fear, fear God. I want to leave it here. Youth of Zambia, the best is yet to come. Have confidence in this, your president. Believe me, you will not regret it. I'm telling you, you will not regret it. I want to say that I love you. Share the broadcast so that other youths will understand and know that the president you have is a godsend. Take care of yourself. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Pondum. I love you, peace, I gotta go.